him off. He puts his head in the way. <laughs> Come on, Miss Trixie. You doing, Hadassah? Huh? Come on, Shushan. Baby girl. Yeah, her is my baby girl. Get off of her. It's my baby girl. Yeah, her is the baby girl. Miss Hadassah. She's a good girl. You do it, little man. Huh? Boy, you trying to figure the mental thing out, huh? Say, little man. Oh, he's growing like a weed. All that milk, all he's giving. He's feeling his oats this morning. It's cold. He took her food away. What you doing? What you doing? You taking Trixie's food? I'm surprised Trixie let you. He's eating good. Mm-hmm. He's eating real good. Got them all messed up. Gotta get another one. And it says diesel. I'm used to seeing the red. We got this at the service station. Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. Whew, scared me. I thought it was gasoline. <laughs> this is road fuel. Yeah, we bought this at the service station. Yeah, we had to pay more money for it. We didn't get the tax exempt. This old pump, I've had this thing now six years. Everybody said this thing wouldn't last no time. We're going to buy you a new one. We're gonna, I think it's time to buy a new one. <laughs> it was only $15. Show the incoming storm, right? Yep, yeah, supposed to be rain headed in here, heavy rain.
Hello guys, back here at Pecan Grove, we have been actively getting ready for uh, our gardening season. We had such a heavy crop of leaves this year that we decided, you know what, let's compost them. So we've been going and getting them off all the driveways and, the, and everything and piling them all up on the sides. I'm going to come back and take my grapple and pick them up. Uh, at Deep South, we have a leaf shredder. If I can get it to crank, we're going to be shredding these leaves up and making our own compost with them to go inside our raised beds for the high tunnel. Uh, because we was kind of thinking about what are we going to do for fillers. We need fillers, you know. And we got to thinking we have all this free leaves here that makes great compost. So we're going to try to take get some soil and take these leaves chop them up and shred them and put them over in those uh containers because actually a leaf on a tree you take this leaf it comes off of a tree these big trees here they suck up all this nutrients and minerals from deep in the soil and they're stored in these leaves and when these leaves die and fall off the tree to the ground the leaf decomposes and it puts back into the soil the minerals from deep in the ground. So we're thinking, uh, I've been doing some research from Japan where they do a lot of this in Japan. They're saying over there that the leaves contain everything that a plant needs to grow, all the minerals and stuff, and you really don't need any fertilizers hardly except something like fireplace ashes for the potash and <clears throat> maybe a little nitrogen. Other than that, it's putting all the basic minerals back into the ground that the plant needs. So we're going to try it this year and see how it works. So guys, continue to follow us along here at Pecan Grove because we've got we've been saving our fireplace ashes all year. We've been saving our rabbit poop from over at Deep South in these big containers. Uh, we have a big compost pile over there. And because we're not going to be growing over there, we may scoop it up, put it in containers, bring it over here, use it at Pecan Grove. So just continue to follow us and watch what we mix in our containers and let's see how things grow this year. Ooh, well guys, over here in the woods, we were just riding around looking and look at this huckleberry tree. It is almost in full bloom. I mean, it's they're starting to come out. I mean, they come out about three weeks before the blueberries do, four weeks. I saw some blooms, I think, on the blueberries. We need to go check them. Oh, really? Okay. I just happened to see this. I was over in the woods riding around. And I was like, look at the blooms. I mean, this, this is a huge this tree. This tree is huge. This tree way, goes way up in the tree up in yonder. Uh, but it's, uh, it's loaded. All I the mean, way to the ground? All the way to the ground. I mean, everything. Just... If we don't get a hard freeze or something in here, well, it's protected underneath all these big pines in here. Well, the deer are hot and the birds are hot. Yeah, the deer and birds leave it alone. That is true. But we've got, they're all in these woods. Uh, this one goes all the way, way over into here. I mean. The limbs, yeah. Yeah, the limbs go way over into here. Well, guys, I came up to the blueberry trees up here. Uh, look at Miss Wanda was telling the truth at that. Look at that. These things, I'm, I'm worried about these. Uh, this is February the 3rd? Oh, uh, yes. If this, if we, if we get a freeze in here, we could lose some blueberries this year. Look at this. These things are starting to want to pop. 
Of course, we have our, people talk about blueberries have to be little bushes. Look at these are blueberry trees. Look at this. See how tall they are up here? I mean, they're, they're way over my head. If I can reach eight foot, these things probably go 10 feet. And it's uh, all budded out. They're all starting to bud. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, that ain't good. Plus, we got these down here. These are good 10 foot high. And they're budded. They're budded out. So it ain't about the variety because there's several different varieties here. Uh, look at this clump here, how big it is. I mean, this is really a large clump of blueberries. And when I when these things get loaded with berries, don't worry about the, the trees themselves will hang way down here like this where we can actually pick them. But these are, uh, they've got buds all over them. I told you. Ain't good. I got to get up here and do some pruning with some dead limbs in them. Uh, this big one here, it's doing the same exact thing. I mean, they're all budding out. Yep. We got a smile axe up in here. I see that. Got to come out. Oh, the curse. That's a curse. You got to go all the way to the other side. Oh, look at that. Man. It's on the other side. Well, we'll get it later. Uh, I moved one of the smaller blueberries from uh, down in the garden out there where the Danny corn was and put it here. Of course, look at your feet right here. Look what we got walking Ooh. the deer tracks. Right by them. Right by them. Deer's done been walking around in here. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to fence our berries. Yeah. But this one's already budding even though it's been moved. It's been moved. It's starting to bud. Yep. And uh, our apple trees. This pear. This is a pear tree. It's one to like to kill it with bone sauce. I put too much around. You put too the much bone. on. It. Okay, one of the things people keep mentioning about these things here, they say I left these on here. It's going to kill the tree. It's going to girdle it back. Guys, these things in our heat here, you don't have to worry about it. They see how loose they are on there. It, it, they brittle and they fall brittle apart. They brittle and they fall apart really, really fast. Now this is a moon glow pear. And maybe it'll come out this year. Maybe it'll come out. We have another one here. Now, what hurt did it, what, we do have cages around them to keep the deer off of, but what hurt us this year was the drought. Uh, the drought this year didn't allow none of our trees but to you grow. You see it's starting to. But I believe they're going to bud out and come back out. So maybe they'll grow this year, but I we have a so. drought this year too. Well, so. they're saying we have another drought coming this year. I think it's still got a little green left in it. Well, not there, ain't it? But, uh, what was this it. one? This was a crab apple. It's still got green on it, so it may come back out. Uh, the drought just about killed all these new planted trees this year. We had it was really, really hard on them. I want to look at the peach trees and see how they're doing. Okay, these are our peach trees. Um, they seem to be doing all right. It looks like they're fixing to get ready to bud. I got to do a little pruning on them, I see. Got a few little dead branches in them. Um, got another one here. Um, we like... got a few dead branches on this one. Yeah, the, 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 the drought this year really did a number on these trees. Now the rest of it looks okay. Yeah, viable. Yeah, they're they're viable, but I just got to come up here and do a little pruning, get rid of some of this dead did, stuff. That one got pushed. I don't know if, it looks like it's still alive. The darkness is where I put bone sauce. That's where it wanted. She didn't put just one little slather. She covered the whole tree. Almost killed the tree. Yeah. Um, didn't allow it to breathe. Yeah, it didn't allow the bark to breathe any. Um, so I think I'm going to have to do some pruning on this one. I can see that. Yeah. We're going to have to do a little bit of pruning. It looks like it... Uh, I hope we didn't lose it. Because this in here don't look that good. This was one of my best producers. This was the uh, dwarf. Um, Empress? Empress. The dwarf Empress. It was a... 
heavy producer. It was a heavy producer, too. It looks like the top's coming out if the bottom will survive. It may. Um, these, uh, some of these were the Red Havens. Now, this one looks pretty good. Now, you see one of the deer got right here and it broke that off. I see that. Going to be an issue this year. Yeah, I got to get, I just got to do some pruning. These are all dead. Yeah. But the rest of it looks pretty good. That had to come off anyway because that was just a sprout. Thank you, dear. <laughs> okay. Um, let's look at, we got a couple more apples out here. One of our apple trees. And it, uh, it's done pretty good. Um, I didn't so slather it up nope, too bad. You, you didn't put none on that one. That one didn't get none on it. So it's doing okay. But now my columnar apple here that I had, uh, she covered it up pretty heavy, and uh, it uh, it took it took it pretty hard. But it looks like it might pull out this year. We'll yeah, see. It looks like it's trying. It's trying. We'll see. And we got water coming tonight. Yeah, we got like two or three inches coming. They said we're hoping. We're just hoping. And you can see the green. Back here behind me where we had the pecan orchard cleared. It's looking really, really good. The clover's coming up in there pretty good. Uh, we got a few limbs we got to pick up because all the storms keep breaking up all these old dead vines that was hanging up in them that the dozer couldn't get out. They begin to die and fall out now. So we're going to have to go through there and pick them all up. And uh, then we got to lime this thing good and see if them pecan trees won't pull out and do a little bit this year. But Pecan Grove. That's where Pecan Grove. I mean, that's that's for our grove. We have our pecan trees. Now, there were a few of them that died over the years, but predominantly, most of them have made it. I think two or three of them died. Thank you, guys, from Pecan Grove.